Ah oh, man, you know, my mom would always like, she says this all the time, like when we go around like her family friends, I would always used to get like my butt whooped because I would be breaking down all the devices she would buy. Whether it was the LG chocolate that she had or, you know, the remote controller that I would break and I would take the infrared sensor and remap it. I was just always an explorer and questioned why something worked the way it worked. My name is Idris Sandu. I define myself as a creative architect and I'm from Los Angeles, California. Even though I was born in Ghana, I had been removed from that ecosystem. But even the ecosystem I grew up here was very similar in comparison to the ecosystem out there because I was growing up in a very underdeveloped community. So I was like, how can I use technology? How can I use these skill sets to create something tangible, something that could change and alter people's lives? And we live in an era where the moment you learn something, it's already outdated. Information in real time is already information of the past. I think what connects everything together is just the unrelentless curiosity I have. The curiosity to want to know, not even just how something works, but why it works the way it works. Just being curious allows you to prosper and, and really tap into this, this superpower. <laughs> and I feel like there's two approaches, right? You can wait for your purpose to come to you or you can teach yourself what that purpose should be. And I feel like the fact that I've been able to teach myself what that purpose should embody has always grounded me. And I think that's my greatest achievement because I know I'll always work for the people. Define who you want to be. Don't let others define that for you. When you remove the need for validation and you simply walk in your power, the universe flows for you, everything works for you. I'm Idris Sandu and I seek the positive.